don't do drugs. Yeah, but what do you think? Because a lot of people at first judged you, right? They but then out the when they heard that, you know, what you actually said on the song, a lot of people went back on your side. So how did it, how, how did this thing come about? I really, it really don't seem like, okay, like, when they, when they, when they first hit by the, I was some shit, yeah, 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 like, shit, fuck, um, I didn't want nothing to think about, I didn't want nothing, like, nobody need to call and ask, should I do, right. <laughs> should I do this, like, nothing, 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 but, yeah, so then, like, nothing, when it, when it, when it came down to it, I just had to a whack, like, pour, pour down the way with the song. You know what I mean? So when you did that, I recorded it, but like, like I ain't had to like record that and uh, none of that shit. Or oh, like send it to him after the, after the shit. Cause he was like, he got. Alright, you know good. Cause he was on the shit, like he got a. Uh, no. Yeah, but what do you think? Cause a lot of people at first. Look, man. Um, I'm gonna just keep it real, bro. Uh, you know we hear these rappers rap about money drugs uh intercourse can't i don't know if i can say the other word on youtube but drugs they they you know it, it's it's a thing to pop pills and, and and snort sometimes and smoke a lot of you know ganja you feel me and to be honest bro i don't know about weed but a lot of that pill popping sipping lean bro that can cause detrimental you know harm to your body like this stuff ain't cool, but it's it's very well promoted. It's promoted so much in in you know the music industry. But honestly, you know, I all we can do is pray for these people, man. That's that's all we can do. I I hope Kodak Black gets a a circle around him that that really truly care about him and that can you know influence his life to a better direction i seen um what was his name uh john gabbana come out with a response saying that he he know the fact that that it's that he owned drugs and you know john gabbana recently became a christian rapper he he, he seems to be you know on the right path and I, th I think he's still sober. So, you know, God bless him. But seriously, I think we should pray for these people and, uh, you know, warn people, even though it's it's a well-known thing, but still warn people, hey, man, stay away from drugs. Simple. I don't care how cool these, these rappers or these people try to make it sound, bro. Oh, man, I was just so high, man. It made me feel good. Yeah, but it can cause harm on you. And, you know, you can become addicted. Let's read Ray, J, Ray J's little comment before we, before we end the video. Yo, somebody needs to grab bro and make sure he good. This ain't the interview, Nor. We got to help this dude. I took him to Trump house and he did the most. I don't know what that has to do with anything. <laughs> they were not happy with the experience because he had no guidance and respect. Yo, whack 100, let's figure out how to help this guy instead of watching him self-destruct. Well, pretty much everything, you know, Ray J said, I'm on board with, except the Trump house. Why did you take him to Trump? Anyway, <laughs> I don't I don't know what that has to do with anything, but, you know, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's the video. Hope you guys, you know, enjoy, enjoy my, little, my little commentary. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And y'all have a wonderful night. I'm going to bed. I was down bad and broke, but I'm still staying down for the club. And please don't cross me, nigga, because it's guaranteed to get dangerous.